This is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. I'd like to thank everybody who's joining us for today's educational webinar. I hope that you're using the time to eat your lunch, take a break, and watch the presentation. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about some functionality in the software that we're going to be releasing in the very short near-term future. And of course, that's connected to the functionality to create surgical guides for all implant systems. And what's super exciting is that not only are we coming out with new builds and upgrades that include this functionality in a very short term, but as I look at the roadmap for functionality that we're developing and coming out with in the next three, six, nine months in a year, there's just so much going on, so much is going to be coming out via the software. It's just a super exciting time and a lot of things are, are happening, developing, and a lot of excitement. If you have any questions during the presentation, as usual, you can type them into the chat box next to the video, next to the video screen. And there's also a link there to enter your details into the webinar attendance form so that we could send you the CE credit. Anyway, let's, let's get started. Let's jump into things. This is going to be a bit of a more advanced presentation. Some of it's going to be on the simple side. Some of it's going to be on the more advanced side. But we're not going to be discussing the basic functionality in the software. We're not going to be discussing how to go about treatment plan or load diacoms. I'm assuming that people who are watching this presentation or watching this video already have a pretty decent handle on the software. And we're going to be discussing some new functionality that's coming out, as I mentioned. And we're also going to be discuss discussing some existing functionality connected to and pertaining to treatment planning and creating surgical guides for all implant systems and all guided surgical kits. And of course, for those of you who may not be aware, just to emphasize the software could be used to treatment plan for all implant systems and to create surgical guides for all guided surgical kits. The agenda for today is we're gonna be looking at three ways of doing this. First is we're going to be looking at new guided kits that are being put into the software. So in the software, we have the Blue Sky Bio implants. Obviously, we have several other implant systems. And what we're going to be rolling out is the settings for additional guided surgical kits for other implant companies. Now, this is important because it allows functionality that we have, such as the wizard functionality, which does all the settings automatically. Until today, was for the Blue Sky Bio implants and the Blue Sky Bio guide surgical kits. We're now expanding that, and we're going to be adding several additional implant companies in the short term with their guided surgical kits, and in the midterm, we're going to be adding even more. So that streamlines the process flow and it puts all the settings directly into the software. We're also going to be looking at the process of entering the values directly into the software for other guided surgical kits. One of the great things about the Blue Sky Plan is that all the settings, all the values, and all the numbers, and everything connected to the surgical guides can really be tailored to the user's needs. Everything is dynamic. Everything is variable. And because of that, because of that, there's a tremendous amount of flexibility to accommodate any guided surgical kit and any implant system. And third, we're going to be looking at the functionality in the software to use the custom kit setting. And we're going to see what that really does is that once you use the custom kit setting and you change the values for particular implants, then the software remembers those values and those settings. So the next time you come back and place that implant for whatever implant company that might be, the settings are saved for the guided surgical kit that you entered last time. So that stores a lot of the data and reduces the need to be re-entering data for systems that we don't yet have in the software. Now, I just feel like I have to put this slide in. Even though it's not directly connected to what we're presenting, first of all, we need to know what capabilities we've reached today. We've gotten to the point that using the Blue Sky Plan, you could completely design your surgical guide in the software and, and really for almost all cases, no other software is necessary. And you could print your own guides. If you like, you could print your own guides 
in your office. And that's really reduced to the whole process flow, the whole turnaround time, and it's reduced the cost tremendously. So that's one option of demonstrating really how far we've gotten. The whole process could be done in your office, in your lab, and the cost really is between $20, $30, depending on the number of implants, and it could be done in a matter you know, of hours. Another option is to outsource the printing. You could do the treatment planning, you could design the surgical guide. If you don't have a 3D printer, then that's fine as well. And it still comes out to an extremely reasonable cost, and the turnaround time still is very reasonable, just a matter of days for the printing to happen and the shipping to happen. And the third option that we've always had, and it's really always existed, is to work with a great service provider. We have a list of fantastic labs that provide full service treatment planning, um, surgical guide design, fabrication, printing, the whole nine yards, and even using that technique, which might seem to take a bit longer and a bit, bit be more expensive, the prices are still extremely reasonable and turnaround time has improved considerably. So that's the point that we're at now with technology, with Blue Sky Plan and 3D printing. Okay, I'm gonna to try to scroll through some of the questions and answer them as we, as we go along. Okay. Now, the, the drive of the software, or the two really, the two engines that drive the software development is to make the software as powerful as possible, as much functionality as possible to accommodate really all the situations that people want. But the flip side of it is simplicity. And whenever we have an, uh, a development meeting to review functionality that's released and going to be released, and, and we had one today, it always comes down to simplicity. You got to make it more simple. It's too complicated. It's got to be made more simple. And simplicity is really where we're always driving at with Blue Sky Bio and with Blue Sky Plan, both in terms of the industry in general and how we've come to the extent that we've came to today to simplify the process flow of guided surgery, which has been a tremendous improvement and tremendous advance. But simplicity is always what's driving things moving forward. And that's why we developed the wizard functionality to enable users to go from a DICOM to a surgical guide in a matter of really minutes. It's a step-by-step -step process flow. It takes the user in many situations, it can't be done in all cases, but in many situations or even in most cases, you can use the wizard to treatment plan a case and to go from a DICOM to a surgical guide in a matter of minutes. And really the first thing that I wanna show in the software is that we've updated the wizard to include these additional guided kits. And when we've done that, we've removed the need to do any calculations, to put any numbers in. The software will take you through the process flow that's relevant and will also design the settings in the surgical guide accordingly. So the wizard functionality we have the start wizard button, very important button in the top left up there. And when you press it, you have two or three drop down menus that come up. The first one is asking what you're going to be importing into the treatment plan. Obviously, you're importing the patient scan, but then you're importing something else in order to deal with a couple of issues of scatter, of grayscale. You're importing another model or another component in order to better define the patient's teeth structure and anatomy. So the first drop down is asking what you're going to be importing. And again, the beauty is that once you make the selection, the wizard will take you through the relevant process flow. And currently in the software, we have three options via the wizard. You could import an STL file of a model. You could import a CT scan of a model. And you could even just import a CT scan of an impression. You don't even need to pour up the model. You could invert it directly in the Blue Sky Plan, directly in the wizard, and it takes you through that process flow of inverting it and aligning it to the patient's scan. Now, what's new here is select kit type. And this is still a better build, so it's 
got the, some redundancy here. But what you could see is that in addition to the Blue Sky Bio direct cut drills and Blue Sky Bio fully guided surgical kit, we've added additional surgical kits from additional systems. And this is with co in cooperation um, with the companies providing us the data that's relevant for this. We're able to put these additional guided surgical kits into the software. And when you select one of these and you move forward with the process flow in the wizard, Again, there's no need to do calculations to enter the numbers. The wizard takes that into consideration. And in most cases, in most situations, you're fine going through the wizard and having the surgical guide designed and fabricated that way. And we're not going to go through the process of, of using the wizard, but this initial screen is what's changing here. And the additional guided surgical kits that's going to be coming out in the next uh, public release of the software. So this is the first improvement, significant improvement that we've made to simplify the process of designing and fabricating a surgical guide for all implant systems and all guided surgical kits in the software. Okay, the second Let's bring this back up here. Next, we were discussing how the software allows you to change and update the values and variables to accommodate different guide surgical kits for the surgical guide. Now, just some background and definitions of the terms that we're using and concepts before we get into some of the calculations. And, and this, this situation is because we don't yet, hopefully we will one day, really have all or close to all the different guided surgical kits programmed into the software. But these values and these settings will allow you to accommodate the different systems by entering the numbers. Okay, so what we're seeing on the screen is an implant that's planned. The yellow curve that you see on the screen is indicating the model or the inverted impression that became the model that's aligned to the patient's anatomy. And what we see on top of that is the orange. Now the orange outline is representing the surgical guide. And in the space there, in the surgical guide, we have the brown cylinder in the background. That's what we call a software guide tube. And that represents the exact positioning of the hole in the surgical guide. And that is controlled by the different settings that we're going to discuss in the software because the height of that software guide tube from the top of the implant is essentially going to control our drilling depth. And the width of the hole in that software guide tube is going to control what could go inside, what metal cylinder, what master cylinder could be put into the surgical guide, into the surgical guide to accommodate the relevant guided surgical kit. So that software guide tube is key, and that's what's going to be moving and changing when we change the values. Now, on top of that, I stuck a picture of a metal cylinder, because the metal cylinder is going to be going into the printed surgical guide, into the hole in the printed surgical guide. And through that metal cylinder, you're either going to have a drill or a key, a key, a spoon. OK, now the key and the spoons are used to change even more so to change the inner diameter of the hole to accommodate different size size drills. Now, Blue Sky Bio a couple of months or maybe six months ago already released a fully guided surgical kit where you don't need any keys, any spoons. You just use the relevant drill. They all fit into the same master cylinder and it's very versatile and powerful guided surgical kit. And some guided surgical kits work that way and some work with the spoons or keys that go into the metal cylinder. And we're going to discuss this more as we go on. But what's important to, to understand is that Brown Software Guide Tube represents the hole that's going to be printed in the surgical guide. In that hole is going to be the metal cylinder. And going into the hole is going to either be a drill or a key or a spoon. Now, a couple of concepts to build on what we just discussed. We have the zoomed in picture of the metal cylinder 
with the drill going through it. Now the metal cylinder has an inside diameter and an outside diameter. Now those those values obviously are static, but we we have on the Blue Sky Bio website probably sixty or seventy different metal cylinders to accommodate pretty much every guided surgical kit. And we're going to discuss how you know which one to, to be using. But what's important is the outside diameter is going to dictate what should be the guide hole diameter, what should be the size of the hole in the printed surgical guide, because that metal cylinder is going into the hole in the printed surgical guide. So whatever metal cylinder you're going to be using, you're going to take the outside diameter and add around a tenth of a millimeter, and that's going to become the diameter of the hole in the printed surgical guide. Now that's regarding the width of the metal cylinder. And of course, the metal cylinder has height to it as well. Now, the height of the metal cylinder, what we see there is uh, indicated by height, is the height of the metal cylinder that's going to go into the printed surgical guide. So the second field that we have in the software under guide hole diameter that says height, you're going to set that to be the height of the metal cylinder, of the portion of the metal cylinder that goes into the printed surgical guide. And on top of that, we have a lip which protrudes on, and sits on top of the printed surgical guide. So those are the terms that, we're try that we should be accustomed to dealing with, okay? We have the inside diameter of the metal cylinder. We have the outside diameter of the metal cylinder. Now the outside diameter plus around the tenth of a millimeter creates our guide hole diameter for the software guide tube. And the height is the height of the metal cylinder that goes into the surgical template. And the lip is the top part. Offset we're gonna get to in, in just a minute, but that's, the offset is the measurement from the top of the printed surgical, for the sorry, the offset is the measurement from the top of the implant to the top of the printed surgical guide. Now here again, we see the same values. Arranged a bit differently. And this is to show the correlation between the drill depth and those values. And the drill depth, what is the drill depth? How long do you need the drill to be? You need the drill to go from the bottom of the implant to the top of the lip of the metal cylinder. So there's really three values that create the drill depth. One is the implant height. Two is the offset, which we said goes from the top of the implant to the top of the printed surgical guide. And three is the lip or lips. You might have lips because you have a lip for the metal cylinder. And then if the system is a keyed system, you'll have another lip on top of that. So those three values need to create the drill depth. So if you're doing the calculations or changing the values in the software, then you need those three values to add up to the length of the drill or vice versa. You need the drill to add up to those three values. Now the implant height is gonna be static. That's not gonna change. Now the height of the lips is also not gonna change. So what's important to realize here is that the value that you have the flexibility with is the value for the offset. So if somebody comes to you and says that they have a drill of X before it hits the stop and they want to make sure that it stops at the correct depth, and we're going to review this again in numbers, but conceptually, you want to make sure that when you add up the implant height plus the lip plus the offset, and the offset's what you could play with, you're going to get to the drill depth. So this is kind of a step-by-step. -step. How do you determine the guide hole diameter? There's two values that we're looking to complete here. One is the width of the hole, and the other one is the height of the hole. So how do you determine the diameter of the hole? And this is what we've been discussing, but kind of broken down step-by-step. -step. First, you need to know what's going to be going into that metal cylinder. Is it going to be a drill or a key? And that's depending on the guided surgical kit that the user is going to be using. Once you know what's going into the metal cylinder, then you need to know the width of it, whether it's a drill or a key. 
once you <laughs> know the width of what's going into metal cylinder, then you could add a tenth of a millimeter to that, and then you could determine the proper metal cylinder that should be used. And we have a lot of values at Blue Sky Bio in terms of the different kits for the ones that, even the ones that aren't built in or yet built into the software, we have a lot of the values. And like I said, we have 60 or 70 different metal cylinders on our website. So we can help you identify which one might be the proper one to use for a particular system. But it all starts, it all starts with knowing the width of whatever is going to metal cylinder. You add a tenth of a millimeter to that, and then you get the internal diameter of the metal cylinder. Then you could select your proper metal cylinder. That's uh, what we're talking about in step, uh, step four. Once you identify your metal cylinder, based on the internal diameter, the external diameter is going to determine the value that goes into, this, into the software guide tube. So you'll take the other value of the metal cylinder, you add a tenth of it, and that will be the value for the software guide tube. So basically, just conceptually to summarize, there's a whole bunch of things going into each other. First of all, you have a drill or a spoon going to a metal cylinder. And then you have the metal cylinder going into the software guide tube. And between each of these items, you need approximately a tenth of a millimeter. So you start by identifying the drill or the spoon. You add a tenth of a millimeter to that, and you get the metal cylinder. You add a tenth of a millimeter to that, and you get um, the width or the diameter of the software guide tube. And I say approximately a tenth of a millimeter. Depending on the, the printer there and materials, there is still some variance uh, regarding that, but it's approximately a tenth of a millimeter. And again, the setting in the blue sky plan is, is variable. You could change it. So if you find that the default setting for the distance between the metal cylinder and the printed surgical guide of, of a, is too small or too tight, then you could change that default setting, and that will provide a bit more room to insert the metal cylinder into the printed surgical guide. Now here we are again, the same process flow just with an example, okay? So if we're talking about the Blue Sky Bio fully guided kit, as an example, what's going into the master cylinder? Drill. What's the major diameter of the drill or the key? It's 4.94. Now if we add a tenth of a millimeter to that, we get 5.04. So we need a metal cylinder that has an internal diameter 5.04. And you can see the metal cylinders usually are, have a part ID that identify for you, and we also have all the information spelled out on the website, but just to understand, to have a part ID that identifies the inner and the outer diameter. So when you see it says tube 524, the outer diameter is 5.24, the internal diameter is 5.04, and the 4L means it has a height of four millimeters with a lip on top of it. So once we have our metal cylinder that we're going to be using, we note the outside, which is 5.24. We add a tenth of a millimeter, and we get to 5.34. Now, of course, the, the Blue Sky Bio guided surgical kit has everything programmed into the software. And for the other guided surgical kits that are in the software as well, all these calculations are done for you. And we saw that in the wizard as well um, but this these are this is the process flow of identifying the settings for guided surgical kits that are not in the software okay so that was just the process flow of determining the width or the hole in the printed surgical template and again we have a lot of these settings that we could help you out with but that's the process flow and even for people that are using the kits in the software that are pre-programmed, it's good to understand these things because you want to know that everything makes sense. You want to be able to see it, understand it, conceptualize it, and know how all the parts are, are working together. So even just as some additional education, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's, a valuable, uh, it's a valuable to know this information. Determining the offset. What's the process flow? The process flow, first of all, is you want to know how long the drill is. What's the length of the drill until it reaches a built-in stop or it bottoms out? 
Once you have that number, you take away the implant height, and you take away the lips. Okay, there might be two lips, one for the metal cylinder and one for the key. And when you take out those values, that's the offset. I'm going to flip back. This is what we're talking about, okay? This is, this is what we talked about before, and this is what we're going through now. That the drill depth needs to match the lip plus the offset plus the implant height. And the important point here is that the offset is the number that you're able to play with because the lip, the drill length, and the implant height are all static and fixed. So the number that you're going to change is the offset. So when we go back to here, here we are. The offset is the value that you could change and that you could change and put into the software. OK, now let's just jump back to the software itself. And let's take a look at some uh, some of the settings directly in the software. So here we have here we have a case. We have the patient CT loaded. We have um, a model that's imported here. And what's new in the software is that in the implant list, where it's going to list for us the different implants, we have a list of drill kits, the same list that we had in the wizard. In the situation you're not using the wizard. And it shows up and it shows up here for you. If you know the drill kit that's being used, you go ahead and you select it from the list. If you don't know, then you could also just place the implant and the software is going to choose the relevant kits that are available once the implant is placed. So for example, if you're placing a Blue Sky Bio Max implant, and we go ahead and stick that into the software, the guided kits that show up here are the available options, which are the direct cut drills, the fully guided surgical kit, and the custom kit. The custom kit we're going we're gonna to discuss. And depending on whichever implant you're placing for the relevant system, you're going to have the relevant guided surgical kits. Now, you'll have the guided surgical kit for the particular implant system, and you'll also have options for other guided surgical kits that kind of could be used as a universal as a universal guided kit that you could use it to create the apical diameter up to the apical diameter of the osteotomy of the implant and then you could go ahead and use the final match manufacturers drill as well so you might have more than one kit showing up here you might have the manufacturers uh, kit, and then you might have the Blue Sky Bio direct cut drills as a second option that could be used kind of as a universal kit to place the implants. Um, okay, so we have the implants, we have the kit, and here are the settings that we were looking at before. We have the guide hole diameter, we have the height, and we have the offsets. All of, this, all of these values are placed automatically for the guided surgical kits that we have in the software. Let me just point out, we're operating in advanced mode. Okay, the wizard and normal mode are numberless in the sense that everything is pre-programmed. And it's accommodating the guided surgical kits that we have pre-programmed into the software. If you want to customize the settings and you want to switch to that advanced mode, then that's going to give you the option to accommodate the settings. Now, any guided surgical kit that you're using, the settings that are in the software are the default or starter settings. So if you need to change the offsets in order to do that calculation that we saw earlier, you could just go ahead and type it into the box and that software guide tube will, will move. The software guide tube could be turned on right over here. Okay, in the implant list, we have the implant, then we have a check next to the implant, because right next, right now, we have the implant on the screen, the option for an abutment, and then we have that software guide tube. And if we go ahead and increase the offset or decrease the offset, here we're getting a warning that we're changing the default settings. Then the software guide tube will, will move accordingly. And the reason the number is turned red as we increase that offset is because it's telling us that the offset is too large for the guided surgical kit that we selected. 
Okay, so that's just something to be to be aware of and to be careful about. It means you might need to use a longer drill or to place a shorter implant or a different guided kit, whatever the options uh, might be. Now, when you're setting, just to respond to some questions, when you're setting the height, the height, okay, what is the height? We said the height is the part of the metal cylinder that goes into the surgical, into the surgical guide. That does not go into the drill length calculations. The drill length calculations are three things. It's the offset, it's the implant height, and it's the, it's the lips. The height is there because you want to make sure that when the guide is printed, there's enough material surrounding the metal cylinder to properly support it. You also want to make sure that the metal cylinder is not going to interfere with the patient's anatomy. So if you're using a, um, a metal cylinder that has four millimeters going into the printed surgical guide, then you want to make sure it has enough clearance and it's not going to hit the patient's anatomy. And if you have the height, select the proper value, then you can see that by the software guide tube. If the software guide tube is clear of the anatomy, then the metal cylinder that goes into it that has the same height will be clear as well. So that's why the height value is there in the software. Two, two reasons, again, to make sure there's enough printed material surrounding the metal cylinder, and also to make sure that you have clearance of the patient's anatomy. But that height is not one of the three values that goes into the drill depth. And I know I keep repeating it, but this is, that's the key for calculating for calculating the drilling depth and for calculating the offset. The three values are the offset, the implants, and the lips. Okay. Now, if you do go ahead and change any of the settings, then if you have multiple implants there, you'll need to go implant by implant and change the settings. You could hit the apply the all button. And we'll copy the settings that you've changed to all of the implants that are, that are placed. Okay, so to summarize very quickly, if you're putting the numbers in yourself, first of all, make sure you're in advanced mode. The two things that you wanna know are what is the width of the software guide tube need to be and what is the offset of the software guide tube need to be. Those are the two crucial uh, numbers that you need to put into the implant list panel in order to properly create that surgical guide. And again, set the height to the proper height, make sure you have enough material around the metal cylinder, and make sure there's enough clearance of the patient's anatomy. Okay, so we've covered the two, two out of the three ways of creating surgical guides for systems that are not well, really, the first way is for systems that are in the software, and that is using the new functionality of having the guided surgical kits integrated, either via the wizard or via the normal or advanced mode where everything is pre-programmed into the software. You select the relevant drill kit, and it's all there. The second way is putting in the numbers based on the calculations that we just reviewed. And the third way is a, a bit of an add-on to the second way. And I mentioned that at the onset that we have this option for custom kit. Now, why is that great? Because once you place an implant and you change the values related to the surgical guide for that implant, when you're using the custom kit, the custom kit has a memory and the custom kit is going to remember it. And when you come back and you place that implant again from whatever implant company that we have in the software and from whatever size implant, when you're placing that implant again, the guide hole diameter, the height and the offsets are going to come and have the same value as the last time you placed it. So if you're regularly using a guided surgical kit that we don't yet have in the software, then when you change the values, change it in the custom kit. And then when you place the implants in the future, always choose the custom kit. The custom kit will allow you to place any implant and it will remember the values and bring up the values that you last used when you place the implant and you change the guide tube settings. 
So that's an add-on that we've incorporated into this build that's coming out of the software that helps create surgical guides for systems that we don't have in, in the software. Okay, I know I just ran through a bunch of information. I hope it was clear. And the webinar is recorded, so if you do want to see it again, then it will be available on YouTube after this is over. Um, okay, where can I learn more? First of all, we have video training tutorials that are available either by visiting our website or if you search YouTube for Blue Sky Plan. There's the Facebook Study Club, which is fantastic. And this screenshot, I took this screen I took from a presentation I gave a few months ago, and you could see that the member count at the time was a thousand, and I think we're just about at four thousand. So you could see the groups exploding. But there's a fantastic community of people with a tremendous amount of experience that are there and available to help. And a lot of great ideas come that are eventually put into this guide plan come out of the Facebook group. So it's really where the magic happens. It's where a lot of very bright and capable people with a tremendous amount of guided surgical experience are throwing out ideas. And very often, a lot of those ideas get implemented into the software. So it's a tremendous learning tool. It's a tremendous community. And you'll see a um, fantastic variety of cases being done. And uh, there's a tremendous amount to learn from there. And lastly, you can contact us. Okay, we're here. We have a lot of information regarding the different metal cylinders and what works with what system. We offer free training as well. You can email us. You could call us. And that's another way of getting assistance that you need. Uh, just to conclude and reiterate a couple of points I mentioned at the beginning, there's a tremendous amount happening and a tremendous amount coming out of new innovation with Blue Sky Plan. And also the Facebook group, I mean, we send out the information on our newsletters and websites and everything, but the Facebook group is probably the first place where, where news gets out. So I do recommend, uh, I do recommend joining that. But it's very exciting. And stay tuned because over the next three, six, nine, year, nine months and a year and, and ongoing after that, there's a tremendous amount happening. Um, also, please complete the webinar attendance form so we can send you the CE credits. And this webinar is a part of a webinar series that we've started pretty much at the beginning of the year. I think this is webinar five or six or so. They're recorded. They're online. There's another whole bunch of webinar presentations that are coming up as well on a variety of topics connected to guided surgery and implant placement. Very talented and experienced speakers. So we definitely encourage to attend more of those presentations and benefit from them as well. We're always driving to improve the software and make it easier to use and more simple. So please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or comments, suggestions. And let's see if there are any questions here before I go off. Y value of the drill. The software accommodates, you can really accommodate both the width and the height of the drill. So yes, it could accommodate, it could accommodate really every aspect of the, of the drill and out of the spoon or the metal cylinder that's going to be going inside of it. Now, great, okay, you just bought the uh, Formlabs printer. So the software is perfect for you because you could design the surgical guide completely in the software, as we just discussed, different ways. You could use the wizards, the fastest and easiest, and then you just send it to your printer. Now, the software, I didn't even say this because I feel like it's said over and over, the software is free. Okay, you could download it, install it on as many computers as you like. There's no purchase fee. There's no upgrade fee. We come out with upgrades regularly. All of it's distributed for free. The only cost involved is a per-export fee. So once you have 
the surgical guide completely designed in the software, everything's the way that you like it, and you want to export it to an STL, then there's a fee that ranges between $11 and $20 a case. And that's depending on the size of the package, the number of cases that you buy, but there's a per case fee to export the completed surgical guide to an STL file. Now that fee also is per case for, and not per export. So that means that if you want to re-export the surgical guide, if you want to export the surgical guide together with anatomy, together with the mandible, together with whatever, it's one export. So you could do as many exports as you like regarding the surgical guide and the patient's anatomy, and it only counts it as one, uh, one export. So if you have a printer, then the Blue Sky Plan software especially is for you. And if you don't have a printer, then there are other options as well. You could get it printed for around $40. We have printing centers listed on our website that will print the surgical guide for around 40 bucks. You put some metal cylinders in and you got a surgical guide, you know, in the $60 price range or so. Alrighty, so I'd like to thank everybody for attending. If you have any additional questions, contact us, email us, plan at blueskybio.com, or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help. Enjoy the rest of your day.